your 2022 homecoming king is Oakley Staples. And your 2022 homecoming queen is Ella O'Donnell. got in there. Make sure you turn your stuff in, obviously keep the jersey. This weekend, have a great time at the homecoming dance. Have a great time the entire weekend. But understand this, you got stuff to answer for on Monday, so make sure you don't do anything stupid, okay? All right. So enjoy your time, have fun with it. Great win, you're back, hey, five and two on a pretty good street. You have a tough, tough road game next weekend at East Rock. We gotta be ready to play. All right, we gotta be ready to play. Coach, you got anything? Hey, good job, fellas. Bring this thing down. Let's go, baby. Hey, baby, hey, bring, hey, bring that bell. It's been a while at home. Let's go. Come on. Three. One, two, three. Eagles. Go, 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 go. We're here with Matthew Sipe, the quarterback for the Eagles tonight in this big win. Matthew had a touchdown rushing and threw a pass to Will Booker. Uh, Matthew, can you just talk a little bit about the game? You know, uh, it's homecoming week. It's always a fun week. You know, we had to come out and uh, put them on their butts like always. So we always have a good time on the weekends and throughout the week. And uh, you guys have started to put it back together now. you got a three-game win streak going, a real tough game next week at East Rock. Uh, what do you think about that one? Well, I just heard they beat LeRae, and uh, I heard LeRae's a pretty good solid team. So I think we'll just go practice how we practice, come out and play hard. And, you know, we hope for the best, but I think we'll get it done. You know, we play how we play, and we'll be all right. And can you just talk a little, just briefly about your, your touchdown pass and the route and stuff? Yeah, it was uh, just a light seven route. Uh, I knew Will would be open. Uh, he's always usually open in practice, even though that's kind of like a light thing. But he's pretty quick, pretty pretty good athlete, and I knew that I could throw him the ball and trust him with it in the air. So. All right, we well, heard that from the Eagles offensive leader, Matthew Sipe, as he directs a 41 to nothing win tonight for the Eagles. And we'll head down to East Rock next week. It's a Mo Murphy for Clark County Sports. Thanks, Matthew. Yep. Enjoy it tomorrow. We're here with Alafi Saki. He had a big night tonight on defense for the Eagles, blocking two punts, uh, grabbing one in the end zone. Also, many tackles tonight. Can you just talk a little bit about the game, Alafi? Uh, yeah, you know, it was, uh, it's Hoko, man. We got to bring the energy, got to have fun and, um, just play hard. And, you know, we had a lot of injury, uh, injuries, unfortunately, and, you know, we got to account for that, but, you know, just playing out of position, just trying to play hard, have fun, you know, making those tackles. It's just a great feeling, man. And, uh, as I was asking Matthew, a very tough game coming up next week at East Rock. We're on a little bit of a roll here. How do you feel about that one? 
Hey, I just think we got to keep the momentum, man. Um, we got to stay locked in. We got to keep going. We got to focus in practice and just East Rock is a tough. It's going to be a tough game. They like to. They're a spread team. They like to pass, but they can also run the ball. They're athletic, so we just got to do what we got to do, man. All right. Well, you heard that from Alafi Saki. He had a huge night tonight for the Eagles in this 41 to nothing win. This is Mo Murphy for Clark County Sports. Thank you. Thanks a lot, buddy. No Thank you. Late game. We're here with the Eagles running back, linebacker Kyler Darlington. After a big uh, night tonight, scored on the first play of the game and uh, also got a second touchdown. Can you just talk a little bit about tonight's game? I mean, it felt great just coming back from a you know, hard injury. I'm still working to get back to 100%, but just on Hoko, had to bite the bullet and it just felt good to get back out here in, uh, in front of the home, home crowd and score some touchdowns. So on that first first run uh were you even touched uh, i was not touched the hole was blocked well there was a huge crease and i just ran right through it it was a good play and now we go to east rock it's going to be a battle um enjoy this homecoming win for sure but uh what about next week yeah east rocks they're a tough team they got some big guys I like to spread out they're a spread team uh great qb slings the ball he's been doing it for a while so I have to get the secondary right, get defense, right state of mind, and uh, offense will do what we do. All right, well, you heard there from Kyler Darlington as he's working his way back into his full-time position. Uh, everybody played tonight, so the playing time was cut a little bit short. We'll be back next week at East Rock. This is Mo Murphy for Clark County Sports. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thank you guys. We're here with the Eagles head coach, Casey Childs, after they pick up their fifth win, their third in a row. Big win on homecoming, Casey. Just talk a little bit about tonight. Oh, I think it was a great win. Uh, you know, we've been battling injuries for weeks, almost you know, a little over a month now, and we had a lot of moving parts again tonight, and some you know, some kids played out of position, and um, but you know, we didn't miss a beat. The kids played outstanding. Uh, we were able to control the line of scrimmage, and and it was just really, really good too to see Kyler come back and get that long run to start off with, and then. Uh, you know, I'm happy for him because I know it's been a struggle for him mentally, and, and, and he just he wants to play so hard and so bad. So, great team win for sure. Big win for sure, and another big win is I didn't see anybody coming out with Lindsey Hurt tonight. No, that, that's that's a, that's a big plus because we've we've had our fair share of them. So, our our goal was to hopefully get a you know get a lead and be able to play through that, and then you know get our kids out, and, and we did. We were able to do that, and um, you know it's just. It was really good to not have to worry about you know an injury tonight because like we've like I said we've had our fair share of them so uh, uh, I, I told the kids man and really really enjoy this weekend there's really special moments with homecoming right. and, and with the dance tomorrow and want those kids to have a great time and I'm told that uh, East Rock beat Laray tonight so it's it's going to be a battle next oh, week uh, yeah it, it's yeah they've got tons of athletes um, they they're gonna spread us out across the field and uh, yeah they they're gonna be a handful for sure um, and it's on the road. And uh, I don't think we've ever played down there. And as long as they've been in the bull run, the way the realignments happen, you know, they've either played them in the playoffs here or here right. during the regular season. So uh, it's going to be a big, a big game, uh, it, definitely. And especially with those guys coming off the, uh, if they got that win tonight, which I have not heard, that's the first I've heard yeah. about. It. I know it was tied at halftime. So uh, it, it, it's going to be a tough one for sure. All right. Well, you heard that from the Eagles head coach Casey Childs as they moved to five and two with this forty-one to nothing win tonight. We'll head down to East Rockingham next week for another Bull Run District matchup. This is Mo Murphy for the ClarkCountySports.com Game of the Week. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, guys. Your final score, the Clark County Eagles 41, Meridian Mustang 0. This one was all Clark from the first play of the game. The Eagles have a tough battle next week as they travel to East Rockingham, who were told uh, by Matthew Shipe that they defeated undefeated Laray tonight, which is going to shake up the points. And uh, we're definitely in for a battle next week. Great game tonight. Everybody played. Everybody had fun. Nobody, no serious injuries, which is a, a good thing for the Eagles, the way they've been getting banged up. So we'll see you next week at East Rock. Reporting for the felt for the ClarkCountySports.com Game of the Week. For Doug L. Stock, this is Mo Murphy signing off.